Not being believed was one of my major concerns because I'm a six foot one bloke in a professional job and my abuser was um, a very small, on the face of it, meek woman, which is not what she was. It is gradual. Oh, you don't need to wear that. Or why are you wearing makeup today? Just slow little things and then it just builds up to a big mountain of things. It's normal at the beginning until it's not normal. Do you know what I mean? So it starts kicking off and things start happening every day. I wanted to make her realise I wanted to hurt her. And I remember thinking to myself, once I'd done the initial thing and I grabbed her and threw her away, I then realised I'm going to hurt her, I need to get out. But then the drink obviously made it go that bit further. Might make it come a bit quicker with the alcohol fuel and stuff, but it's still going to come anyway. Mm, definitely. Yeah. My tipping point was when my oldest child got in the crossfire of it when we were fighting, well, when he were me. And I just seen her eyes and that just made me, I needed to go. You think you're moving your kid from the home and schools and family and everything all rolls into one, really. It's a big thing to do. We live in a refuge. The worst thing is that I can't live with both of my parents, only one of them. That he can't see his friends anymore. I was fully aware of the effects it has on children, definitely, because I was a child myself and my mum and dad. They were very abusive towards one another. And when I think of the effects it had on my child, I'm ashamed, to be honest. Because when you go and ask for help, you know that people get involved and you know that it's going to open a big can of worms there. And that's what you're scared of. Am I going to lose my children? Am I going to lose my home? Everything like that. I was to do that because I don't want to be a problem. But if this country... First of all, I pray that nobody ever comes across domestic abuse again. But if anybody ever approached me with these issues, I'm confident now to let them know about agencies and organisations that do exist that can give them that support. There are people out there who will help you. These services are amazing. I didn't even know about them before I left. But when I did leave, they've helped me so much. They make you feel safe.